well stuart and matt are making fun of me because i am really having trouble with my a literation today because so many of you have asked me about what i'm going to be gifting as stocking stuff hurts and i'm having a hard time with my s's so i've got my santa socks on i have my mantle uh just about prepared my stockings are hung and now i'm getting ready to do some zhuzhing on them and and stuffing them so i thought i'd go through some of my gift items some of the favorite things that i'm gifting this year and that leads me number one to my question of the day what is the most individual singular kind of odd thing <laughs> that you put in your family's stockings and for me it kind of changes from one year to the next but this was this was inspired by something i used to, a friend of mine used to put into my stocking when i was a poor struggling college student i didn't get home very often <laughs> and she would put this in my stocking that she would make for me and that is you guys are never going to guess this because my men are absolutely obsessed with A1. <laughs> and they cannot get enough of it. They really think it's a food group that I get them their own individual bottles of A1 <laughs> every year to stuff in their stocking. It used to be candies and things. <laughs> and now it is their condiment of choice. So, and every year it might be a different condiment. So this year it's A1, and I, I, I promise you, it will be consumed, it will not go to waste. Okay, the other thing that will be consumed and will not go to waste, and I stole this idea from one of my new daughter-in-laws, Taylor. She did this with eye masks one year, and so this year I am doing it with face masks. And I just got in volume a whole bunch of packets of my favorite face masks. And these come in different flavors, if you will. This one's green tea, I've got cucumber, I've got red ginseng, I've got, uh, yeah, they're all scented and they are, they're just, this one's just basic hyaluronic. But you can get them in multiples like this. And so then I can put them in all of the female stockings. I can send them to my sisters. They're just kind of fun. And in addition, I like to have some of these in my guest room basket if I've got visitors, female visitors who might want something to kind of just treat themselves with. So I get these in bulk. And by the way, all of these links, I guess you probably don't need a link to A1, to A1 but all of the links will be in the description below. So that is another great stocking stuffer idea. And it's not really expensive because you can buy them in volume. So your cost per face mask isn't really prohibitive. Okay, Stuart, this is an idea that we got actually this, this year because we discovered farming sleeves. You have been gifted some, um, they've been left on our doorstep. And this year I just thought these would just be great for my kiddos that like to hike in the mountains and they're often getting sunburn, skin damage. And so they can just slip one of these, they're kind of hip, they're kind of funky, um, farmer's defense sleeves on. They contain uh, UPF 50 plus sun protection. They're breathable. They have moisture wicking properties. So these are great if you're a gardener or if you like to hike or if you're just an outdoorsy kind of person and you want to protect your arms they slip right on and as Stuart has discovered they're not hot are they Stuart no, not yeah they're really and they're easily easy to wash and if you don't want to wear a long sleeve shirt when you're working outside these are great you can just keep them in your yeah, garden truck yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. and I, I, I yes, and I should say most importantly for Stuart, these are also a, a mosquito barrier. That's, yeah. <laughs> so they're they're great for a number of different reasons. Now these. I put recently, and if you haven't been checking out the community tab on my YouTube main page, then you want to do that because I've been putting some decor ideas, things that I'm kind of infatuated with right now, and things I might want to replicate in my own home. And recently I came across this picture of these great big massive, they look like Italian glass wine bottles or something, and there was just a number of them on the table. And then they had put in these candle, 
these wine glass candle holders that you just then put in the lid in the top of the bottle and you can transform any kind of wine bottle into a taper candle holder and you guys have seen me use these in many different vignettes that I've created around the house I got these at terrain years ago I've got them for tapers and I've also got them for little tea lights and you have asked me where I, I got them and I don't believe they're they're available any longer however I have found some and Stuart's going to put, put up an image for you here along with a link in the description of an alternative that you can get online that are really good looking and in fact I am I have already requested some of them as a Christmas gift for myself and they come in brass and they're really good looking and they're not at all expensive and I think they come come in sets of four so again this would be something that you could buy a set of four and you could divide them up and put two and two in each individual stocking but they've got a really elevated look I a lot of times like to put these in oh uh, just different pots different things like that with plants in them for indoors for outdoors but they have a number of uses and I think they're really fun and so many of you have asked me about these sadly I don't think these are available anymore but we will put a link in a description below Okay, this is another thing that is kind of trendy, but very popular right now. And I actually, yesterday, I think it was Stuart, when we were over at my friend Janie's, I had on a gold ring that a number of you asked about. And this would be, these would just be great, inexpensive, uh, but they look expensive, little baubles that you might want to put in your ladies stocking now these all came these actually came off of amazon but they are pretty much direct replicas of things i've seen on bobble bar now you can get them on bobble bar that's also hard to say Stuart. <laughs> bobble bar you can get them there but at a little bit lower price point i found them in different sources so i will put the links below to the ones that i got this is just a gold band i think it looks really expensive and by the way I am not the only one that apparently is um, a little bit infatuated with these because I first discovered these in InStyle magazine and uh, people like Jennifer Aniston and and I don't know some other people were also sourcing them from this inexpensive location they also have rings don't I look really fancy, Stuart? Fancy schmancy. They look so expensive, but they were not at all. You can get them uh, in different kinds of bands, and then you can stack them. And I've gotten so many compliments on these. And like I say, they look very, very high-end, and even hoity-toity people who could afford the real thing are wearing them because they're just kind of fun so if you want to look for those I will put the link below in addition to these kind of really thin gold necklaces you may have seen me wearing lately these are very very popular especially with young gals and I will put the link below to them and when I say inexpensive these are like for the most part all I think under $20 and a lot of times you get them in multiples again so you could divide those up and put them in different stockings or you could give them um, I guess just as a gift in their entirety to to kind of do the layered thing. Um, this year, I, I think I have told you in the past, last year, Stuart, I was telling everyone that a traditional thing is always to, that I always like to put those um, Lifesaver books. Oh, yeah. Remember the Lifesaver books, you guys, from when you were little, it was what you always wanted to get it in the, in the student exchange yeah. <laughs> when you were in elementary school. And they just don't make them like they used no. to. They just don't, they just don't have that nostalgia flair that they used to have so this it's year they and they what it's all, one it's all one flavor and that just doesn't count that that's the complete antithesis of the purpose of it was to get the butterscotch oh, yeah the tropical all of that kind of thing um, so we don't approve lifesavers <laughs> we need you to resurrect those so but this year I am doing an old-fashioned candy in addition to of course the requisite chocolates and things and I don't know about you guys here's another question of the day when you were little did you guys always get fruit in your stockings yeah. we always got tangerines and to this day the scent of tangerines red bananas. Red, you got red bananas, no, just bananas. 
just bananas. We got tangerines and we would have those hard candies and you'd, you'd put out the biggest, at my house, we would put out the biggest, furriest sock that we had. And then my mom and dad would, or Santa, would put in the hard candies and then they'd, you'd pull them out and they had fuzz over all of them. <laughs> from, uh, did it stop us from eating them? No, no. But... I digress. Okay, so this year I've talked about these. These are my favorite things. I've had to replenish Stuart, my little container holding these soft peppermint sticks. I love these. I got these at the dollar store. Somebody told me, and they're bobs, by the way. I've seen them at Walmart and some, oh, somebody else told me, a number of you told me. I think you can get them at Cracker Barrel. Uh, but the, these are definitely the peppermint sticks of choice. I don't like the other kind. And they are fun. I like having them out. They're great to, to eat with your hot chocolate or a cup of coffee. And they're just good. Buy these bags in multiples when you find them because they can be a little bit difficult to locate. So each one of my, of my little kiddos will get one of these in their stocking. Now, another thing that is both practical and I think you could really do fun stockings. I don't know that these necessarily match. Well, they kind of do, but I, it, and I don't know if it's a seasonal item at Trader Joe's or not, but I love these, uh, they're actually dishcloths or kitchen towels that you can get at Trader Joe's. They come in different colors. And sometimes in these colors, they're a seasonal item, but I always like to stock up on these and not necessarily just to use as kitchen towels, but I love using these as oversized napkins. Isn't that a great idea? And I even bought a stencil set this year so that I could stencil the recipient's initials at the bottom of them. So that makes a really inexpensive, but I think kind of, uh, of high-end looking uh, gift, don't you guys? And I guess these might be a little bit, too <laughs> the guys are just kind of going, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> trust me. Any gal, any homemaker, whether they are male or female, would like to get these. Maybe, maybe these are. Napkins. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah, they're great napkin. for barbecue, and maybe they're a little bit too big for your stocking. But nevertheless, they're great. Okay, <laughs> now um, I have saved. I think the best for last. This is my absolute favorite discovery that I have made this year. Not only because it's novel. I don't think my kiddos have seen them, but also because it solves a real vexation that I have. The white tube, right? If you have, yeah, if you have children, a spouse, a husband, hubs, I'm talking to you, that get toothpaste absolutely everywhere when you brush your teeth or kiddos who have trouble hitting their mouth, these are for you. Okay, so they come in this great little recyclable tube that you can use over again. And they come and then, so they come like this, perfect size for your stocking. And they come in an aluminum can, chew, brush, and smile. And these are toothpaste tablets and they taste like mints and you just chew them and then you don't spit them out, you just chew them, wet your toothbrush and you brush your teeth with them. And they foam every bit as good as regular toothpaste. It doesn't get mess everywhere. They look cute sitting on your counter and the tube, yeah, and the tube never really shuts all of the way or it gets it gets all over your tooth. Anyhow, these are great. They're also great for traveling. 
So then you don't have to worry about having the size of tube. You could just stick some of these in your purse, your backpack or whatever. And I love the little aluminum can, which is the most recyclable product there is. And, and they just look kind of cute sitting on, on your counter. And plus, I think this would be a fun way to get your kiddos to brush their teeth. Now I have them in peppermint, but I think they come in like a watermelon flavor or something. Your husband or something like that. Yeah, yeah. So I just think that's a great idea, don't you? No, it's very interesting. This is my very favorite stocking stuffer for 2022, and I hope you guys got some ideas. These are just a few of the things that I am going to be putting in my stockings hung by the fire this year.